to receive this honorary doctorate today is, is just mind-blowing. I never thought I would be honoured in this way, and to be honoured in this way by the Royal Conservatoire is so special to me because it's been such a huge part of my life. And yeah, just to be recognised for your work in front of your peers, in front of your friends and family and where you grew up, it's just really special. So I suppose there's loads of things that make RCS not like anywhere else, but for me, it was the fact that you got to do hands-on filmmaking. To be a practitioner and not a student was the most important thing to me, and that's what the RCS gave me. And I suppose the most amazing parts of it for me were actually getting to make films. I, I chose this course specifically because it was filmmaking and not film theory. But in another way, Andy Dugan's lessons on film theory also massively informed who I would become as a writer and as a, as a filmmaker. So my words of advice to people studying at the RCS is make the most of it. You're in a really kind of amazing incubation period where you can do absolutely anything. You can make anything, everything's at your hands and fingers and your feet. You're just in the middle of kind of like a melting pot. So I would definitely advise you to go all in. Try and do everything that you absolutely can. Make all those films, make them in your spare time, do the extracurricular work. And the other thing I would advise you to is learn from the people in your class as well. Make really good friendships, lifelong friendships. Work together, critique each other. Um, and then the last thing that I think is maybe the most important is um, go out and make mistakes. It's really important to make mistakes while you're at university. I mean, it's important to always make mistakes, but if you're not making mistakes, you're not taking risks. And that's what the RCS kind of allowed me to take loads of risks in my kind of formative years.